Hello everybody. So today I wanted to take about five minutes to uh, show you guys Peppermint 3, which was released a couple months ago. Now this is a um, Ubuntu-based distribution, specifically off of Ubuntu, and it is uh, using LXDE as the desktop environment. So here's a listing of the applications involved, um, available. Now this is what they consider a uh, hybrid hybrid distribution. So it's intended for uh, both um, online uh, services. So you can have Dropbox pre-installed. Let's check out some others. Uh, Chromium web browser comes standard. ICE, which is a program they have for creating little web applets of URLs. So let's take a look at this really quick because it's actually kind of cool. Uh, if you want to, you can set up your um, page and it will remember the, uh, the the exact URL you put in it so in this case I have it going straight to my uh, tumblr uh, desktop and or actually my tumblr homepage and you can uh, set the uh, the width and the height and it will actually remember it what else do we got here a simple document viewer simple scan which I haven't tested uh, let's see, GW Office, that's actually Google Drive Office, and um, I added GUVC View for uh, this webcast, um, a media player, it comes with it, as well as a music player. I've actually never used this music player before, and it's uh, um, actually a little bit on the ugly side, so I'd probably switch it out with uh, maybe um, something else on the lightweight side. Uh, record my desktop I added for the screencast. Let's see what kind of tools you got. Synaptic Package Manager. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys are pretty familiar with that. Now this actually uses the um, Update Manager from Linux Mint. So they're doing a little bit of uh, back and forth here. Um, let's take a quick look at the uh, the look and feel of everything. Looks like we're using uh, maybe Funar? No, PC Man FM. Yeah, I can hardly tell these uh, both these lightweight ones apart, but this one's actually a lot nicer, in my opinion. Mostly because it's got tabbed browsing, which uh, Thunar does not have. Now, the uh, customized look and feel is kind of cool, so you can go through here and change from a few different styles. Right off the bat, you don't have to go to a separate website and download anything. So let's go back to the default for Orion Gray. You could set up your color schemes if you want, customize those. Fainza, Fainza, and some of the Fainza um, variations. It looks like they're all pretty much looking the same, so maybe it's not quite hot swappable, but I do know that uh, they do change the icons down here in the location bar. Okay. Let's hit apply. All right. Next item, mouse cursors. You got a choice between black and white. Looks like it might require a um, login and a logout to see the differences here. Check out all these uh, default themes installed. A lot of these are actually pretty standard to LXDE. But this is um, got a lot of options for someone who uh, wants to use LXDE but not have to set it up manually. Um, the Peppermint website. So this is actually based out of the United States. So you have to uh, download the codex when you install. Chromium. Now, because this is a hybrid distribution, they intend for it to be a lot of uh, cloud uh, services. So under Internet, you've got your BitTorrent, your Grep Browser, Dropbox, ICE again, and IRC Client. And a lot of these things are um, based off of the idea of uh, Internet accessibility. Now, the Wi-Fi for me worked right out of the box. I just uh, made sure that my Wi-Fi card was operating and um, got everything working. So if you're looking for a good um, uh, distribution that's both lightweight, uses less than 512 megabytes, and um, 
and looks amazing at the same time while running LXDE. And uh, if you have any experience with LXDE, you know it can be kind of ugly. So uh, give this one a shot. If you have any thoughts, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. Thanks. Bye.